Hi, it's Dwyer. It's gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Uh, bettingangle.us, a free site. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk Naoa Inoue against Nanito Denier. The fights happened. It was a classic. Let me just say, one of the things with boxing is that the sports international. Some great fights are taking place all over the globe at any weekend or a couple days before the weekend uh, in time. You'll hear about a fight that's taken place, this one in Japan. Then you'll hear the scorecards and you'll say to yourself, okay, the favorite won. All right, the judges had it a unanimous decision. Right, you'll think that that's the whole story. You'd be making a big mistake if that's your approach with regard to this fight. This fight was a classic. The only judge who got this fight right, in my opinion, and when I say right, it's debatable, let's say within range, is the judge who had, in a way, one of the hardest punchers in the entire sport of boxing, pound for pound and unbeaten, winning the fight by one point. Right? You heard right. One point. Understand, in this fight, a fighter got bloodied. His nose was bleeding. The side of his face got swollen up. His eye looked like it seemed to be bleeding. I wasn't sure looking at it whether it was blood from his nose that somehow got to the eye or whether the eye actually started bleeding. The feed I saw was spoken in Japanese, I think. Right? It was in English. So I didn't have the benefit of the announcer telling me exactly what was cut and what wasn't. But make no mistake, in a way, nicknamed Monster, a guy who has power in both hands. He's kind of like Anthony Joshua. Whatever he throws is hard, right? He was fighting in his backyard in a WBSS final against a guy 10 years older than him. And he was getting tested. Folks, dare I say, he was getting roughed up. He's never been tested like this, to my knowledge, in a professional boxing match. Let me tell you, the mechanics of the fight's breathtaking. Breathtaking. You have the monster there at home. Hits hard with both hands, right? One of the hardest punchers easy in the sport of boxing. The secret to this fight, and it wasn't a secret between the two men, they both knew it, was that Denier's left hook, that's right, the 36-year-old's left hook, the same one he used more than a decade ago to drop Victor Chinian, that left hook, remains one of the best punches in boxing. So you had a situation here that was riveting, strategy-wise. Denier comes in, he's not on his back foot. Think about that. Who fights the monster in Japan on their front foot? Nanino Denier does. So he starts to come forward. He's prepared to trade punches with the monster. Right? This is the KG vet who thinks, okay, I'll trade punches if I can just roll a little bit and land my left hook. I might be able to drop this kid. So in a way, of course, sees him coming forward. Now understand, in a way, is like Julian Jackson, the Hawk from the 1980s. If you remember the way he threw punches, right? Flat-footed, hooker, everything behind it. Right? Getting maximum leverage. But in a way knew that he didn't want to do that against a guy with Denier's caliber of left hook. So incredibly, the monster 
starts fighting off his back foot. Folks, I'm just telling you, just from a strategy standpoint, you're watching this fight, <laughs> it's a jaw dropper. Right? In a way, decides to concede the pocket to the 36 year old. Then you notice something else. Right? In a way, has the left hook blocked. So KG veteran Denier starts throwing straight right hands. Even though Inoue has a decent jab, believe it or not, the right hands start getting there. That's how you end up with the bloody nose on the 26-year-old. So then we get to the ninth round, and it's a close fight. And Denier hits Inoue, who is guarded against Denier's left hook. He hits Inoue with a straight right hand. It's his plan B, right? The young guy's taking away his left hook. So he hits Inoue with the straight right hand. Inoue is in trouble. He's in such trouble, he tries to hold on to Denier. So, of course, Denier has the guy hurt. What does he do? He goes to plan A. He throws two left hooks. But guess what? In a way, <laughs> in a way might be young, but he's not foolish. In a way, he's hurt. He backs away. Denier's left hooks miss. Right? I'm telling you, if either of those left hooks lands... I believe Denier takes Inoue's title. So then Denier, patient, right? Denier throws the two left hooks, decides, okay, I'm just going to, you know, corner this guy. And guess what? This guy is not just a puncher. He has boxing skills. So Inoue makes it out of the ninth round, folks, that ninth round. Given the situation of the fight, unbeaten guy 10 years younger than his opponent with prodigious power fighting at home right against Denier who people were expecting to retire I'm telling you Denier has a lot of gas left in the tank right to see Denier land the straight right to see in a way grab Denier to see Denier then create space, throw left hooks to try to end the fight. To see Inoue back away. Then to see him clear his head and make it out of the round. That's a round of the year candidate. So then we get to the 11th round, right? Inoue makes it back. But you notice he's boxing Denier. He's not in there against an old man trying to collapse the pocket. He's not doing a Canelo against Kovalev. He's not patiently waiting to collapse the pocket. No, he understands. I have to box this 36-year-old. So we get to the 11th round. And it's riveting. Inoue throws a punch that comes up short. Denier blocks it. But it opens up Denier's body. So Inoue throws a left hand to Denier's body. It badly hurts Denier. Denier takes several steps. Denier turns away right away, right? Because he's badly hurt. He wants to stay on his feet. He takes several steps. He cannot. He takes a knee. Folks, in my opinion, on the scorecard that mattered the most, that's the point that Denier loses by. Well, let me just say this. When Denier gets off the canvas in the 11th round, he's badly hurt. He has a finisher. Look at the KO percentage. He has a finisher with power in both hands right in front of him, ready to wail on him. Denier is operating on fumes. This is when your car starts coughing at you before it dies. Right? Denier's operating on fumes. 
He has several seconds. He needs to survive to make it to the end of the round. There's time left in the round. Now if you need to see a KG veteran in survival mode, a guy who has a blown tire, needs to clear his head, but understands he's in the fight and that if he's going to lose this fight the other guy is going to have to take him out. Look at Nito Denier in that 11th round. If you weren't a fan of Nito Denier at the start of the round, by the end of the round you'll be online looking up information on how to join his fan club. Right? It's just pure heart and savvy experience that gets Denier out of that 11th round. I have the film. It's in my favorites folder. Forget what you've read. Forget two of the judges scorecards. I don't know what fight they were watching. Right? Sometimes you hear these scorecards and you're like, what? <laughs> what fight was that? When did the judge submit the scorecard? Had the fight even started? Well, I'll just say this. This fight was a severe test of Inouye. Right? Severe. Understand, Denier at 36 goes the distance with him by itself. That deserves a standing ovation. The fact that Denier is in the fight, the fact that Denier comes close to ending the fight in the ninth round, the fact that Denier is the one on his front foot. The fact that Denier, who can't land the left hook because Inoue is too savvy. By the way, kudos to both men. Right? Inoue, excellent defense. Right? The fact that Denier is then able to throw and land repeatedly right hands and bloody his younger opponent is outstanding. Right? In this loss, Nanito Denaire, who I believe is a three or four division champion in his career, gave one of his best performances. Right? Don't look at the judges' scorecards. Please do me a favor. Look at the fight. Understand, one judge has it 114-113. The margin is the fact that Denier hits the canvas in the 11th round. Inouye does not hit the canvas in the 9th round. Folks, this fight was that close. Let me give a standing ovation to both men. Let me also say, too, I give Inouye a lot of credit. Right? Here's a young guy taking everyone out early. That's his trademark. This guy's kind of like a Mike Tyson. So he's in the ring. He sees Denier trying to collapse the pocket. He knows Denier has that left hook. So Inouye then takes a step back. Forget ego. Inouye takes a step back, says, okay, I'm going to throw a jab. I'm going to throw power shots from the outside. You're going to try to walk me down, I'll give you the pocket. I'll try to take you out from outside. Right? All of these guys made a lot of adjustments. Let me say this too. And personality matters a great deal. In a way, is loved. You see why at the end of a round. It's a tough round, him and Denier. He gets the upper hand. I believe it's late in the fight. It's like the 10th round. So he goes back to his corner and you see the blood streaming from his nose. <laughs> you see the blood streaming from his nose. I think his eyes also bloody. He looks beaten up on this side of his face. He looks at the crowd and he nods and he goes like this. He wants the fans to know, look, maybe I'm bleeding and I've been tagged. I'm getting tested. Just know your boy is still in this fight. Right? It's that attitude that gets him the love. It's also 
that attitude that shows that even when he's in against a 36-year-old and gets badly hurt in the ninth round and has to hold on, that he's not discouraged. He understands, okay, there are going to be rough moments in this fight. You know what? I still want to win the fight. <laughs> I'm still I'm still here to compete. Right? Five stars from me on this fight. Forget the the two judges' scorecards. Come up with your own scorecard. This was a great fight. It was an exceptional performance by Denaire. It's simply because he's fighting one of boxing's better champions that he loses. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.